Hey, welcome to part two. In the part one, we managed to read the uh, canvas messages and print them out in a serial monitor. And in the part two, I will try to use these messages and uh, actually convert them in uh, some uh, usable data. Okay. At the same time, I will try to talk a bit more about the device I'm using and the device that is transmitting that data and what is actually doing. Okay, so in this just screenshot you see the data from the end of the part one and I will be concentrating today on the message with identifier 1AA it's a hexamal or 4 to 6 in decimal and we're gonna work with this data bytes on on this message okay okay so this is device I'm using for my testing and this is the device that is sending the canvas messages okay and we're reading these messages with the ESP32 so what what it is is just battery monitoring system is used in many different applications and the, the job is doing is just tracking the current uh, reading the voltage reading the temperature and is providing the accurate battery state of charge for the the system okay so if you go into this website I will put the link down in the in description below so you don't have to google it but basically you just go there if you want to have a look in the manual uh, you can go on this site and this is a Curtis site so you can go on this site and you can just download the manual right here if you push this button here you will download the manual um, now in the manual I will not go through the details of this unit but what I want to show you is the node ID uh, is being set to default as a default to 42 so when you when you tr when I'm trying to read the data um, I'm expecting data to come up with the node ID 42 and that's why I'm having my identifier or 1AA that includes my node ID 42 it says right here so default node ID is 42 okay so by knowing node ID then we need to go into PDO messages and uh, let me scroll down here okay PDO communication and I'm interesting today in the PDO 1 message and uh, let me zoom this in okay so this is the data I'm interested in so the PDO messages comes as one double a identifier okay and this is what that message is carrying over the the bytes eight bytes of data so the first two bytes is here for the battery voltage okay the the other two bytes is the battery current the other two is battery temperature and byte seven is not used and byte eight is state of charge okay so battery voltage is unsigned 16-bit integer um, and the resolution of it is in a hundredth of volts okay so you will see in the code what I will do I will read the value from I will read the value from this two bytes and I mul will multiply by 0 0.01 so then I have a nice number instead of having this like for example as here showing like you have a 30,000 which actually means 300 volts okay so that's what I would, that's why I will mu be multiplying and you will see that later on and uh, the battery current is signed in 16 bit integer integer so the battery current and the temperature is signed values because it can go negative it can go positive or negative so you can have 100 minus 100 amps or plus 100 amps the same with the temperature can go below zero okay so this is this is where the data is coming from and this is how they know which byte to use for okay so voltage two bytes current two bytes and temperature two bytes and then uh, I have to manipulate the data so for example the current I will be multiplying by 0 0.0.1 and the temperature by 0 0.01 okay hopefully this is gonna make sense so you will see at the end of the the tutorial what I will do I will load the software on ESP and I will capture the same 
uh, the messages as I did previously in the part one and I will be printing out in a serial monitor the data as a voltage current and uh, temperature now the voltage data it will change it will reduce the voltage on my power supply and you can see the on a serial monitor the voltage is going to change as well so in this part too i just want to read that data uh, use this manual and the table from this manual to manipulate the data and make some sense of what's actually being transmitted so let's start with the code <laughs> 